Nancy is a guard's daughter. One day she was working on Scar Lowy with some polish and a rag. Scar Lowy was snoozing happily, but Nancy wanted to talk. Wake up, lazy bones! Your brass is filthy. Aren't you ashamed? No, yawned Scar Lowy. You're just an old fusspot. And Scar Lowy closed his eyes. He was thinking about his friend Reneus and all the good times they had shared together before Reneus went away to be mended. Nancy interrupted again. Don't you want to look nice for when Reneus comes home? Scar Lowy wasn't sleepy anymore. What? When? Soon, Daddy told me. I'm going now, she said. Nancy, stop! Do I really look nice? Please polish me again. Now who's an old fuss pot, laughed Nancy, and set to work once more. Duncan was jealous. Aren't you going to polish me too? Sorry, not today. I'm going now. I'm helping the refreshment lady this afternoon. We must get the ices ready for the passengers. Never mind, Duncan, she said. But Duncan did mind. It isn't fair. He complained. Peter Sam gets a special funnel, Sir Handel gets special wheels, passengers get ices, but I'm not even polished. Of course, this wasn't true, but Duncan enjoyed complaining. He became sulkier still. That afternoon, there was bad news from up the line. One of Scar Lowy's coaches has come off the rails, called Duncan's driver. We'll have to take the workmen there right away. All this extra work, grumbled Duncan. It wears an engine out. Rubbish. Come on. The derailed coach was in the middle of Scar Lowy's train. So he had gone on to the top station with his front coaches. Duncan shunted the works train into the sidings and left the workmen to sort out the mess. Then he brought the passengers and the rear coaches home. He sulked all the way. I get no rest, I get no rest, he muttered. Duncan made the journey very difficult. He was short of steam, so his driver waited a while in the hope of raising more. But Duncan wouldn't try. We'll keep our passengers waiting, said his driver. Duncan was cross. You always think about the passengers and never about me. It wasn't long before Duncan built up enough steam to set off again. Still very grumpy and cross. I'm overworked and I won't stand it. At last, they reached the viaduct near the station. Come on, Duncan, the his driver. One more effort and you'll have a rest and a drink at the station. Then, Duncan was very rude. Keep your old station. I'm staying here. And he did, too. Scar Lowy had to haul Duncan and his train all the way to the platform. The passengers were furious. They told everyone what a bad railway it was. That night, the fat controller spoke to Duncan no passengers means no polish. No polish means no passengers, Duncan muttered to himself. He still has a lot to learn, doesn't he?